if we're gonna get to it, I mean, let's let's just get to it. The news of the news of the week, and so far, really, the only offseason news, of course, is. I mean, it's it's hard it's hard to downplay it, but it's easy to downplay too. But I mean, that's it. What is the impact here of you know Lachlan leaving Oregon? Uh, it's losing a good developer. It's losing a guy that I think brought into the room, you know, the preaching of, you know, holding on to the ball. I think we had one fumble his entire time uh, as coach here. Uh, knock on wood that that stays, that we just <laughs> keep holding on to the ball. Um but other than that, you know, I think he was an okay recruiter. I think he more liked bringing guys in from transfer portals than getting high school guys. Um, but literally, we only saw one year of that uh, fully, I, I think. Um, but the guys that he's brought in have been, you know, you can't complain about him either, you know. So, he he did his job, as Dan says. Um, we can say he's a soft batch cookie uh, because he went uh, elsewhere. Um, but um, he's not, uh, you know, he, he's, he's going to go against us on the 12th. So, uh It'll be interesting to see how many cookie. It, that that's an interesting question for us right now. Over or under, how many student body will be dressed dressed up as cookies? Um, <laughs> the whole student section might be dressed up as chocolate chip cookies on. October 12th, that could be quite a scene for television. Uh, yeah. Um, and then they'd have to bring that up. Yeah, no. Uh, I, I would advise the student base not to do that because it kind of is a diss to your own self because you all being the soft batch cookies by the <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think they're going to do it. It's kind of like whenever Chip came back to Autzen, you know, multiple, you know, the two or three times he did over the years at UCLA, yes. everyone still was generally respectful. Like the first time he came back, I thought the, I, I wasn't sure how people would react, but everyone was like applauding him, you know, like, welcome back, Chip, you know. But, but is that not just Chip? And what he did for the program, Lock. I don't it's true. Think, Lock. I, I. I mean, I don't want to, uh, you know, I degrade think... the man in any way, but I don't think he did nearly as much for Oregon as Chip Kelly did. Uh, no. no, of course not. Not even one iota. But, but what he did do, you know, is he, you know, coached up our backs and. None of our backs are leaving, um, so that's a good thing. Uh, none of our backs are leaving, and when it comes down to it, it's a very loaded room, and this job is, if not the best running back job in the country, I would say, right now, available. <laughs> no, uh, you know that's a lot of qualifying remarks, but Oregon is a top flight running back job. I, I mean, you want you want guys that want to come in and run track. We have the best track program. Uh, we we'll, we we've been known to put out backs into the league. You know, look at Legig Blunt, look at Stewart, look at uh, Kenyon Bonner, you know, um, Whitehead, you know, you, you could go back and Ontario Smith and, you know, 
the amount of backs that we've put into the league, I think that's there. And Oregon is a place where, you know, even if you want to use it as a stepping stone to your next place, Oregon is a place that you can come and be pretty successful. Um, but I'm, I, I'm, I was thinking all day about it. And I think Dan's looking for a guy that's gonna be uh, more loyal to the program. I'll, I'll just say that a guy that would want to be here for a longer period of time than what was. Yeah, he yeah. definitely emphasized that um, in his speech today. He was like, we want coaches and players both that want to be here, that want to make this a home, and want to stay here for a while. Which sounds like, I mean, in the sense of what he's saying there, by everything that he said himself about being in Eugene, too, is, is he going to start building? This is a little off topic because I want to talk about Lachlan, but is it sounding like Landing is really almost trying to rebuild the Brooks Bilotti era of going, I want the stable family of coaches that want to be here for 30 years? Yeah. You know, exactly. kind of culture. I mean, I, I mean, yes and no. I mean, I, I think Landing definitely wants that, but he definitely understands. The fact is, we all know, you know, if you're coaching on a high level and if your team's winning, everyone wants winners and they're going to come after your coaches. And it's not a bad thing that people are coming up. Ohio State is, if you think about it, has two, two former Oregon coaches. <laughs> <laughs> Because get things on their mind about who they're playing. That's that's what I was thinking. I was like, is Ohio State that paranoid? They're literally like, can we get all the Oregon coaches to come coach for our team? The, they, they definitely uh, would if they could. But, you know, Dan, Dan's made it pretty clear that he wants to be uh, nowhere else but Oregon. And... That he has. He's been very, he's been very upfront about that for – Multiple interviews, and that's at, that, at least till his kids are done through high school. That then the rumor mill can pick up again. And even that—that's it's multiple years down the road. Yeah, <laughs> multiple Polar. multiple years down the road. I mean, oh, you see the uh, the chat over there. We got the real cookie cooker. Oh, uh, I, I I did not look at the chat. I'm I'm checking the chat right now. Uh, mm. Well, uh, and so, so, some of you and it has the best rest, one of the best restaurants in Springfield, right there. Oh, oh yeah. what's it called? Oh, Lubin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I forget what I. I forget. I Ranchitos. I, Ranchitos. Oh, that's Ranchitos. right. Um. Yeah. No, it's a good spot. Had very many meals there, almost to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, in all fairness to Lachlan, like you said, recruiting wise, I mean, we have seen some good commitments. And uh, in all fairness to him, he brought in a bunch of transfers, you know, some transfers, obviously. But so did Dan and Dillingham and everyone else, Stein. And that's to build the new foundation of the program. But in agreement, everyone he brought in has been phenomenal. I know he brought in Bennington and uh, who else? Uh, I know Dan brought in uh, Dan brought in uh, Bucky and I know I believe Locke brought in Jay Harris as well this this off season. So I mean the point is it it has been phenomenal no matter way all the way around but yeah as to his recruiting prowess but the coaching he has done as you mentioned the fumbles have been so minimal especially this last year like literally one or two this last year that was it. That's an exceptionally low number. Yeah. (laughs) But it's you know that, that, that becomes a duck or the egg uh 
<laughs> question. No, no pun intended. Uh, you know, is it is it the player? Or is it the coach? You know, um, chicken or the egg? But I, I made a duck or egg. Uh, since this is a duck podcast, uh, that yeah. it is. It damn well sure is a duck podcast. <laughs> yeah, we're all in our rigging gear. Exactly. Got got this duck hat on. I'm missing this huge flag behind me, though. It's been washed and packed. 